the no, I can talk about tons of TV on the air. Just but community, I did want to actually talk about because yes, we know you love community. I, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know everyone's like, "What do you love?" It is a really good show, and they really went above and beyond. Everything else is on TV, and to do a stop motion animation, that's not easy. It's not like they just threw it together, and it's like hand yeah, it looks they look kind of yeah, like California they, Reasons ish. It was like yeah, animation it was or whatever, sort of like that whole Rudolph thing, and they did a really great job with it. Like it. Was now was well it, worth it. was it Christmas, it was uh, Christmas. as as we define it, like this somebody was transformed by the spirit yes, of the season exactly right on it was perfect like they really they really captured what Christmas is about for certain people and the way you deal with it mm -hmm. the changing of like from a, from being a kid into an adult and how Christmas will Christmas when you were a kid as you know it is not always going to be the same and it will become something different when you're an adult and having to deal with that and it's not necessarily what you necessarily want at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was still funny. Like, they still had their great little community jokes and their little pop culture references. And You know, I'm not sure what it is about the show that bothers me. And I think... I, I think you're going to be regretting this in a couple of years when it's going to be like the most hi highly acclaimed, like, arrested development level of respect without in the community, even though it might get cancelled because no one watches, but everyone will be like, community is just like working on a whole other level of comedy, and you're going to be like, I didn't like it when it was on. Well, but, uh, one, Chevy Chase. He's minimal on the show. It's a really hard one to get around. I thought Chevy so Chase. too, but he's perfect in what he does. Two, I just like the, it, it, the, the, the niche of where they exist, this, this, the, the, the school setting, it has this 90210 feeling oh, that I just can't what? shake, or ahead of the class or something. There's nothing like that. And it's also... It's actually based on the creator, Dan Harmon, actually did go to community college when he was an adult. Carson Rec also ruined it for me. And he sort of based his, the show around his experiences of being an older person going back to community college, even though he didn't really have to, he just sort of did it to do something for something to do. And dealing with these kids that are just for their this is their first real experience in the world and all this other stuff and that's where it's based on and it's nothing like 90210 or head of the class like it's not a sitcom it is a groundbreaking groundbreaking it the homages it does to, to pop culture are so fast like you have to know everything about everything to get all the jokes so it makes you feel smart as a viewer when you get the references and it does them cleverly like I tell you the modern warfare paintball episode Tops. They did their good, their Goodfellas episode. They did a zombie episode this year that was just spectacular. They have the ability to pull out these little. It's the only show on TV that can go off and do these like but, weird homages. But their you feel world. You, you said the same kind of stuff about Modern Family, and I like Modern Family. I've watched, and I, I like Modern Family, but it's not like Community. It's not doing stuff as subversive or as as different as Community. Modern Family's got its its rhythms and its pacing. And it's really good at them. It's really good at defining their, their characters and their world. But they don't go beyond that. Mm -hmm. They all have their limitations. Whereas community, anything can happen at any time. And people can just start doing this weird, like they'll just start dead. Like it's just so funny. And you're right. I thought Chevy Chase was going to be a big, like, Ugh, I can't stand that guy. You know, and yes, the Christmas movies are great, but pretty much he hasn't really done anything. <laughs> but they use him perfectly because he's not a main character, he's not the focal point. He's just one of this cast of seven or six. And occasionally he says things, and they're genuinely pretty funny. Or he falls down, <laughs> which he still does. And it's awesome, because Chevy Chase is a 60-year-old man pratfalling. doing pratfalls. But they're perfect. Like, he's so good at it. There you go. Like, you really should give it a chance and get season one on DVD and just go through it. Yes. Yeah.